Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to use our Moon Overlays in Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CS6, however this will work in all versions of CS and CC. So the first thing you want to do is open up the picture that you want to add your overlay to, and then go up to File and click on Place, and then find your overlay, and you can either double click on it or you can click on Place and it should open up. And you can see it covers the whole image here. I'm going to leave it like that for now. I may resize it in a, in a minute here. Um, but what you want to do is click on this check mark here. Okay, and now we want to bring our photo back. So I'm going to go over to our blend mode here, and it's in your layers panel. If you don't have your layers panel open, go up to window and go down and click on layers until that check mark is next to it, and then that will open up your layers panel. It may be somewhere else on your screen depending on how you have your Photoshop set up. So go to your blend mode, and we're going to change it to screen. That's what I like to use for these overlays. Okay, and now we can move it around wherever we want it. If we want it up here in the sky, if we want it over here, we can do that. Uh, there are other blend modes that you can try out if you want to do, oops, not multiply, if you want to do overlay, but those ones make it kind of dark. Uh, soft light's nice, but I'm going to stick with screen. I just wanted to show you that real quick. You can go through and click on all of them and see what they do though and see which effect you like on your photos. Now, I don't like how the clouds covering the silhouette. Since the silhouette should be in front of it, it doesn't really make sense and it makes it look clearly photoshopped. So what I want to do is I want to paint that off. So I'm going to go down here and click on this button here to create a layer mask. And then I'm going to grab a brush and I'm going to make it black and I want to make sure that it's soft. I usually keep mine there, but yours may be somewhere else. Uh, it might be somewhere like this. We want to make it all the way at 0%. Okay, and then we're just going to paint over that area there just to bring those blacks back. Okay, and that's all you have to do. Now, earlier I said something about resizing it. If we want to make it a little bit bigger or smaller, you just go back to your move tool and hold down your shift button and click on a corner, it can be any of the corners, and just drag it in toward the overlay. I probably should have done this before I painted it off, but I forgot to show you, so I uh, may have to do some repainting here. Or if you need to bring it back, you can paint on a white brush instead of a black one and it'll paint it back on. Anyway, if you don't hold the shift key when you're moving it, it will distort your moon here. So we want to make sure that whenever you resize it, that you hold down your shift key to keep it nice and in proportion here. And that's all you have to do. I'm going to make it smaller over here and I'm going to bring this back right here. Okay, and then all you have to do is go up to File and Save As and name it whatever you want and save it where you want it on your computer. And that's it.